foundations, especially large older ones like Ford, have been practicing elements of knowledge management for decades. And naming these practices as KM is a relatively recent phenomenon. It's becoming more common in the sector and the importance of it has been amplified, amplified like Ari said, by the pandemic driven remote work. So, um, so it's kind of a hot topic right now and that's really exciting for us. I wanna note uh, again, uh, referring to something that Ari said, if you know one foundation, you know one foundation, my views and my thoughts that I'm sharing with you are heavily influenced by my experience at the Ford Foundation, which is one of the oldest private US foundations. It's been operating for more than 80 years. And for every foundation like Ford, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of smaller foundations that simply don't have the resources to support a robust KM practice. But as a foundation with deep resources, we at Ford have a deep commitment to sharing what we know um, and talking about how we do our work in the spirit of collaboration that Donita mentioned. So there are practices, namely documenting our work and collaborating and sharing that can be seen throughout the sector. And you've heard both Donita and Ari reference them several times. These are fundamental to building a ro robust KM practice. Records management, for instance. Many foundations have strong practices for managing records, even if only to ensure compliance with relevant regu regulations and tax laws. Um, many foundations also archive records that they wish to maintain indefinitely because of their historic value. For example, grant records are often the clearest and most valuable demonstration of the work that foundations fund. Um, the intended targets and outcomes of that work, and most compellingly, the actual impact of that work that that work had over time. And also important, many foundations collect and catalog organizational papers, products created by grantees, special reports, conference papers. Many of these materials found in these collections, particularly those that were not formally published, can't be found anywhere else. So you can only imagine how valuable they are to researchers and to, to staff um, to learn how not to reinvent the wheel, but also to evaluate what impact looked like over time. Moving along, uh, conferences and proceedings. Um, a core responsibility for many foundations is to bring people together to address a shared interest or issue. And convenings are a very powerful means for engagement. This is something that many foundations like the Ford Foundation do as um, one of their primary functions. And uh, as Danita mentioned, the sector is also supported by dozens of affinity group, community, uh, groups, communities of practice, philanthropy serving organizations that bring funders together around a shared interest or issue for learning, for candid nuts and bolts type conversations and for sharing. Um, uh, I think the, they help to kind of raise the tide so that all ships um, will benefit from this. 